Did, did any of the scholars that came or didn't series that passed through during that time, did any of them decide to stay? Or were you pretty much the They couldn't. There they couldn't. was no way they can stay. Okay. They wanted to, but there's no way. There was no job. No agents had um, opportunity for any kind of job. Mm -hmm. You asked me what was American attitude to the Koreans. My husband was always very dressed up. He always wore a suit, navy blue suit, and he carried this huge leather bag. Mm -hmm. So if anyone look at it, they know this man is a professional. Mm -hmm. But when he passed by the barbers and the restaurant people staying outside, so which restaurant are you, which Chinese restaurant are you working? That's a question. Uh, when I went to uh, rent the apartment, the first thing they will tell me is, you didn't tell me you were Chinese. So I said, I gave you my name, Ko, over the phone. He said, you, don't, you didn't have much accent. I said, but you never asked me. Mm -hmm. So when I appear in the door, first thing is, well, you didn't tell me you were Chinese. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I get there, they said dogs and children are not, not allowed, mm. uh, no pets. Mm -hmm. So there was a very subtle way of discriminating against. And when I was pregnant for third child, I knew there was no way I could get an apartment. Mm. So family has to find some way. And we had to buy a house, but we had no savings. So we borrowed money from all my brothers and my brother, every cash we can gather, because there was no, no way to rent an apartment. So it actually it turned out better <laughs> that it forced us to buy a house. And uh, one thing my husband did was he was always asking questions and advice to the earlier immigrants, mainly Chinese librarians. <laughs> They were scholars and professors in China. When they come to America, they were working at a library. Mm -hmm. So he will go and say, Mr. Yu, how, how did you survive? Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, buy a three-family house, and you live in one, and you rent the other two, and that's how you pay the mortgage, and you sell support, because by earning a loan, you could never, you know, make the ends meet. Yeah. So he kept getting advices from Chinese mm. intellectuals mm. who are making a living. Yeah. 